Hi everyone and welcome to Crypto Angles podcast number 19. My name is Kalita Salia. If you are new, if you are not, then welcome. Over here we combine astronomy and astrology together and we see how it um, impacts the crypto market. So obviously I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I just fell in love with the stars and crypto. So for those who don't know, we take a look at like the astro astrological story of what's happening this week and then we um back that up with technical analysis of bitcoin xrp and the dxy last week i did cover hbar and um, so if anyone has any other coins you'd like me to go over for next week do let me know in the comment section below and i'll cover that for next week but Without further ado, if anyone um, would like to grab this calendar because it is in alignment with the visible sky, you can grab it here on Etsy if you'd like. Um, and yeah, also, this isn't in alignment with mainstream astrology. It does follow astronomy. Um, so it is different, okay? And for that reason, we are seeing the first part we have the sun entering Leo on the 11th. Mainstream astrology, it's already Leo season, but not according to nature. So obviously do not believe a word I say. This is a site you can check or download an app. Um, but you see the sun right here. You see the date, the, oh, can't see the date because of the um, screen. <laughs> the screen's cut off. Can I do this? Can you see the date now? There you go the 11th of August, you see the sun, I'm putting it a bit bigger, it's just, it's under the recording thing, you see, um, but you see Leo, you see the Leo, Leo, you see all over the place, the sun is literally leaving Cancer, so right now on Sunday as you're watching this, the sun is still, it's probably about here, <laughs> it's getting ready to leave Cancer, and then at the end of the week, it's moving into the Leo constellation, so, what is this telling me? It's not much happening this week, transit-wise. But this Leo um, transit as well as this switch in energy with the moon. So if you have been following the markets, you'll notice I said with the full moon, price likes to find its bottom. It likes to find the support around the full moon. The energy generally lasts for five days after. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Um... So the price, if you've been following price, it has been finding its bottom. We are on the 6th right now. Um, and this is the f switch in energy where price begins to find its resistance. As you can see, it's resistance for this Leo new, new moon, no moon in Leo. So um, what am I kind of seeing in general with the moons is that I'm feeling the potentially the the beginning of this week it's finishing off its bottoming structure like it's been falling <laughs> if you've been following the crypto um if the ta you'd know its price has just been falling um which is good because it went high it got super overextended it needs to find its support structurally so it can move on to the next level um up to the next level so of course i'm seeing just price finishing off its structure maybe even like going towards to the end of the week we'll probably see more upward momentum like possibly from next week into this week but we'll see we'll take a look at the technical analysis to confirm that but that's what i'm seeing with this um flip of energy it's like it's finishing off its bottom in structure and um getting ready maybe seeing signals for continuation and with the sun being in leo i'm seeing a massive um confidence burst like the sun representing our ego is what just attracts experiences to us and ultimately because astrology impacts the collect astrology impacts the collective because it impacts um energy flow essentially i'm kind of seeing that i'm seeing volatility like i'm not gonna lie i was expecting a bit more movement in july but we did have our first movements in july so i'm expecting extreme volatility from this point like quite bold movements um potentially a really big movement coming to the end of the month but we'll see i'm seeing august just volatile um 
because the sun is in Leo, people are ready to just do things confidently, make confident moves, shine in making it as well. So it's like um, people investing in the market is, you know, sending fluctuations potentially with that there. Right, it's not that long. Oh, sometimes as well I do include Dramantria into the mix if it's needed. That's kind of what I'm seeing there for the crypto. It's not um, for the astrology. It's not the longest video. I do have guessed a family answer. I'm not trying to make these videos long. And before everyone wakes up. <laughs> um, well, the children. So, as it loads, let's just get to the weekly see if we're seeing anything on the weekly for bitcoin oh wow it's gone super high okay so straight away anyway It's like on the weekly, there's this level. Excuse me, I'm yawning because I'm still tired. I'm trying to go to sleep <laughs> back after I've done this video. I just have to do it before the children wake up because I don't know if you heard my last video. But I had to, I had to shout at them <laughs> because, oh, anyway. Uh, I had a late night, all of us. So yeah it's like clearly there's something here like if you look at the weekly price it broke through it kind of almost touched it back but attempted to um hit it here and then just got rejected off it and has come right back down um what is the weekly saying i'm going to move these white lines because they're not necessary they were there for moons or something but they're not needed now there we go we can see better yeah and also this red line like has it bounced off it let's look at the daily and take a look yeah and just looking at the daily like i don't know it just looks like it it definitely wants to touch this line, Bitcoin 28. Um, would it want to kind of hover? No. I'm just like, oh, do you think it's going to hover? And then maybe, you know, you know, if it extends out, because I says about this full moon, this full moon's looking a little bit interesting, only because I've done um, back testing on Aquarius full moons, um, and especially Aquarius full moons that... Um, precedes is that precedes like the thing that comes after a capricorn full moon because it's like the way um basically when something's been like illuminated in a way for that solid foundation aquarius like expands that in its like um creative way basically not all the time but more times than not or should i say on a full moon of Aquarius, there's um, there's quite a lot of growth, not not growth and um, movement in the market. So that's why it's like because there wasn't much. Now we don't know how this new this new moon in Leo is going to respond. Um, that could pull price to a certain point, and then this Aquarius full moon after it finds its bottom could be the one to send it to the you know to max it out because i've seen like 100 sometimes 200 percent moves off a aquarius full moon when i've done back testing i back tested it for like four years <laughs> um so that's what i've noticed so we'll see we'll see if price is trying to just linger all the way up till it reached is this apex you see this where the red and the orange 
I'm go a bit smaller where the red and the orange is kind of meeting it could probably just drag it out till then because when's this full moon the new moon yeah it could seriously just start to drag it out till then when the new moon energy kicks in it is five days before five days after but keep in mind five days after that's when price is pulled up because it's ready to get rejected off its new um resistance so um, could that be because sometimes you know when we're expecting the market to just move a little quicker and it's like will it drag it out through the most of august and then send it like parabolic for the ending of august like the last day or so in september maybe um reaching bitcoin to these 38 levels because that's its next goal you know Because, for example, if the new moon in the middle of the month pulls it up to this area um, or a bit higher than this area, I don't know, get rejected off here, the full moon um, supports it here and then it goes up a little bit above this and then finds its support. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, of course, when it comes to um, Bitcoin anyway on the daily, it's crossed on the I can probably get rid of this line. No, that's on the weekly. Um, but I kind of just want to see it's above the 200 and Pluto and Mercury. But it's underneath Uranus. So it's not being supported by that. So it's kind of like I'm seeing Bitcoin's next move. When it goes up, it's kind of just going to surpass um, this. So I feel it will go higher. I feel it's probably reaching... 35 as it's before it's just like oh wait what's going on and comes back down just take a little look on a smaller level smaller level can you hear the laptop is it just loud it's it's really hot sorry i hope you can hear my voice above the fan because i can't really do nothing about it um yeah on the four hour because like the 200 moving average is just above it um it's underneath the 50 rsi it's like it could easily get rejected off that level and then come down to 28.5 and again i feel that that won't be immoral no in normal it will be normal basically i don't know why i try and say the opposite word um structurally because it's kind of just there hovering um, I mean, unless it's coiling up to go pew, but now nah, I kind of feel it's just ready to just come back to this level, um, get supported by Mercury, Pluto and Uranus on the four hour, um, which will then just bring it a little closer on the daily. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And uh, let's just take a look at the hour just to see if it does seem like it's a belt. Yeah, it's just underneath still look at this rejected off mercury and pluto and uranus rejected again nicely it's just down um yeah it's just on it's stuck under the 200 and i just feel its next leg it's just to be pushed down here and basically if like the 15 and that is close to it it's probably getting ready to go down to its next level like look the rsi could easily just get rejected here um yeah slope into the downside like it's ready to push it down it's the next leg or is it trying to go up it looks like it's trying to probably pop up a bit to come up a bit higher on the rsi and then as it comes up a bit higher that's probably just to about here 29.1 um the moving averages will just knock it down basically it's not finished it's um it's really not finished it's minimal downward movement right now and as i said we're finishing off this whole new moon full moon energy is interesting because sometimes with the full moon it will come in and then it's not there for long and then it's ready to be you know propelled up but on this occasion it's still going down down 
Um, but like I said, it's still fine because if you just look on this weekly, it just looks like it needs to just touch off this area anyway. If that's the 17th, the 7th or the 14th of August, we'll see. Um, but I feel touching on this area, 28k, is healthy for um, continuation. And of course, the first level it needs to break is 30. So like from 28, um, it's 30. And if it was to break 28, its next leg down is obviously 27.3. So that 28 is an important zone. Um yeah so we'll see we'll see and again on the daily it just looks like it just even needs to come down just to the 50 to um before continuation up or it's coming fully down <laughs> we'll see how it's going on the weekly no that's the weekly though i don't think so not yet i think it's ready to go up a bit before it comes down so moving on to xrp now and then we'll finish with the dxy Uh, okay xrp i drew an extra line the other day look at all these lines it's so neat look at this big line one two three and i'm gassed because i remember talking about this before it hit it i'm like okay it looks like it needs to be rejected one more time um yeah and it's interesting because i'm thinking what is it gonna do now because i thought by the time it's hit that, it's done, it's automatic rally and it's finished. Um, and I thought, oh, it's going to come back down to probably here before breaking above this trend line. Um, but what it's looking like after it, you know, finds its support here, which is a very solid zone, um, it could well break past this, break past it and then... Um, once it wants to extend to one dollar maybe one dollar thirty we just get one whatever nice wick and um, but the body of the candle may be higher like the volume i don't know we'll see but eventually when it's coming back down it may begin to trade on the outside of this zone so like we may see one massive spike up and it falls down just like whoa and then like just doing this all the way down I don't know. It may be quick, like, ooh. And then it's just coming down into November. So probably about March. It's low here at 50 again. But we'll see. We will see. But as you can see anyway, price is here. And right where it is, we've got touch points over here, over there, um, here as well. So it's actually on a solid place right now. Um, it's even just looking like in, it's coming back to this red line. Uh, yeah, that I drew, drew up on the RSI anyway. Let's take a look at the daily. It just looks so neat. That chart did then, didn't it? Just like super neat. Okay. I know there's a whole leap of lines here. I do need to get rid of them. But bear with me try keep up with me like as you can see it's just super overextended but also it's barely crossed so because it's kind of like just about crossed this is telling me there's still some upward movement going there's upward targets it still needs to reach because it's just crossed you see what i'm saying it's just the beginning it's only because it extended so far from the moving averages price has to come back down um, to get a bit closer to it it just has to like obviously it's closest would be 54 <laughs> because if price was to just fall to 54 then it's super close to um the 200 moving average etc and it's just kind of gonna get price up and moving again but the question is is it is it gonna go to 54 because i want you to take a look at the rsi on the daily so this big spike that happened yeah this is the rsi here this is the price at the bottom here but on the rsi we can see the volume the strength of price has come down um to almost pretty much the same level it was here but of course price is how high in comparison to when it was there so it's telling me um 
that more, yeah, would I say more volume is going into the market? I think I'm saying that correctly. Any traders out there, if I'm not, please let me know. But I'm seeing more volume has gone in because it's like um, the strength index is get it's like it's lower, but price is actually higher than where it was instead of like it's jumped all the way up here and then as the RSI comes down price is actually close to where it was um, but it's not so that is a good sign so it's from that I'm like hmm and as you can see on the daily it's beginning to peak to turn up so it's like because it is underneath the 50 and we are in a temporary bullish trend um it's a slightly higher high so is this giving us a signal on the rsi too like it's clearly higher here <laughs> but on the rsi is this giving us a signal that it's nearing its bottom and it's probably going to just stay and hover here um but of course that could lead to like just up a little bit and then down so <laughs> i don't know i don't know but it does seem like it's just hovering right now we do have a little resistance to be fair we've got a trading cluster here we do have a clear some something was here because price hit it rejected it and then fell through come back to it a little bit so it's being supported by something however we've got a clear support at 60 and then uranus is also here um so that's why it wouldn't surprise me if price just happens to fall a little deeper um yeah especially because bitcoin just looks like it's ready to do that anyway okay on the four hour we're now underneath we are now underneath the 200 moving average um we're also turning here on the rsi see that little turn at the top like it's ready to just come down a bit and even if it probably doesn't come down lower than it it's like it, it's just trying to come down so what is this telling me um even if on the rsi it could show it's not gone lower than this last dip point but the price itself could whip down to 60 and i'm not even gonna lie i'm feeling that that's just more likely because it's just price is now underneath the 200 moving average um dropping to 60 is just a better support like if it falls to 50 <laughs> um don't be shocked if that happens even if it's like a wick down um i wouldn't be shocked but to 60 i'm definitely seeing that yeah and maybe a fast wick to then be brought up quickly and it hovers at this level to finally get out because xrp also does like to come close to where it last broke out of um but it's still got targets to reach man it's like it just needs to reach these targets like what are you doing <laughs> you know what i mean what are you doing so on the hour yeah, price is just below all of the moving averages. Um, Uranus as well. It's underneath this line I've drew on the RSI, <laughs> whatever that is. We're going to go micro with XRP. Let's take a little look just to see when it's about to change. And we're going to finish with the DXY. Again, it's just it's just it's just giving bearish to me. Like, what is this structure? It's nothing really until it goes down again. You see what I'm trying to say? Even on the thirty minutes, um, that sixty is just looking enticing, and if it pushes, we we're getting fifty five to fifty four. Again, it's looking like price like oh, it's gonna try go up gonna get rejected off this invisible not invisible line on the 15 you can tell it's creating like hedgehog heads that's what i notice xrp just like creates a hedgehog and then falls so that's really what it's looking like there we're gonna go as small as just the five minute <laughs> again it's underneath uranus it's getting a little bit support by mercury and pluto and it is being supported by the 200 but it could easily be rejected from this point looking at the rsi on the five minute so basically just on the five minute time frame if we're not getting above 
um, 63.5, then we're just going down. We're going down, and I'd say if we go below 63.2, so I've I've narrowed I've narrowed these um movements. <laughs> if we go below 63, no, I'll say one. Um, 63.2 to 63.1, then we're going down to 60. Without a doubt. Yeah. But if we go above. 63.6 could be continuation to the upside but I'm seeing it's just more down to be honest with you that's what I'm seeing let me just go back to the daily right let's finish on the DXY now if this resonates at all if you're seeing this um, if you're seeing this too do let me know TVC is that the one I usually use? Yeah, must be. Right, the DXY on the daily. We're seeing straight away. Um, there's some. It's rejection resistance. It got caught on the RSI. You can see that straight away, and yeah, it's bounced down. Um, it's been rejected there, and price is now on the daily. It is now below. Mercury and Pluto and of course it's still below um, arched under the 200 moving average so this could just be um, oh we want to see how it responds to here though because it broke down it broke back above a zone didn't it so Can I get in a horizontal line? I just saw some things I want to. Okay. So we'll just we'll see how price responds to this little red line. But as you can see, it's already kind of being rejected down. Let's take a look on a smaller time frame. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, this is just saying down to me. This is just saying down. So this is interesting because obviously the crypto market's just looking like it's ready to go down. However, I'm looking at this in the early morning, okay? So it's like crypto, it may do its downward movement now, whereas this market is not open, it's not open. Um, it did obviously go down a lot on its last few hours. <laughs> on its last few hours, it obviously went down a lot. So we may see a bit more relief when the market opens up. Um, and this relief in this... Maybe the little downward momentum in crypto. I don't know. Sometimes it works synonymous. Sometimes there's little anomalies. But um, it's clearly this is just going down. <laughs> it's like it's getting ready to be rejected again. Like I says, when it opens, we may get a little spring up a bit higher. A um, little bit higher because it's like price pushed it up a bit. To then just get rejected off this 102. The Mercury and Pluto again. And Uranus is right there. To push us lower. And I, I don't know, I just feel we may just get a bit of slow movements, but once the DXY is pushed below the 200 moving average, so once we reach in that 101, um, 69 level, then um, it's just probably falling more. I don't know. <laughs> I've reached a point. I feel my brain's just stopped working now. Um, I feel it's stopped working, but I'm seeing... Once it finished, yeah, I'm seeing it's probably going to try and just go back up, but then it's going to just tackle this and we just see how it tackles this zone. Is it going to find the support off here or are the other moving averages just going to push it down back below it? It's still going in its minimal downward trend or temporary downward trend anyway, overall. Um, and yeah, and I think that's what it is. I think last week, I don't think... 
it's like I was talking about it reaching this level to be, again, then be rejected again. Um, I was probably talking about here and it was getting rejected, but then look, it kind of just bounced up and out. And I feel that this is where the crypto market has been going down, 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 down. Um, but this is has started to fall down but crypto hasn't recovered yet so it's like maybe this needs to just get rejected off here to then um for crypto to be like yep yeah, we finally found our bottom with this uh full moon finally found it and now we're making our way up as this um comes back down to, th to this level so potentially when as price is coming back down to this level, this is when XRP is reaching a dollar, this is when Bitcoin's reaching 38k. Um and if it gets pushed below this, go into that lower level, then that's when we're getting that extra squeeze like XRP pushing past like maybe even reaching 120. Um yeah, down to here, this extra squeeze. So as price is here, a one dollar XRP, thirty-eight K Bitcoin. If it's falling a bit lower, that's when we get the extra squeeze of the one point thirty XRP, the potentially even thirty no forty-five Bitcoin type of thing. You know, just that last wick to the sky and then it just makes people cry because it cancels them out. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm seeing. This week, um, a bottom in our energy finishing up and then beginning to uh, make its way upwards to the new moon energy, basically. A bit more confident movements happening as well. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't see why there isn't like a dollar XRP in August, but I'll leave that there and I'll end it. Thank you. If this resonated at, at all, if you like this style, then feel free to stay around, share with someone, grab this calendar if you'd like. It is in alignment with the visible sky. Um, and I also offer birth chart readings based on the visible sky. I've done a, an example of XRP and Bitcoins. I have done and it will be released today it's literally done so i just need to launch it <laughs> um so i'm excited about that if you want to know a little bit about how bitcoin is is its purpose in our hologram and what it's meant to do um but yeah anyway i'll see you next week for my crypto angles podcast number 20 we've been doing it for 20 weeks people but thank you anyway and i'll see you next week angel out bye <laughs>